Hi, I'm Carolyn Wainscott and today on AllFreeHolidayCrafts.com I'm going to show you how to make this quick and easy patchwork Christmas stocking. To make your Christmas stocking you first need to print off your pattern here at AllFreeHolidayCrafts.com with the cuff if you want to add the cuff. This version is lined and I prefer to line mine with felt because the felt so easy to work with. I've chosen this kind of fuzzy fabric for the back of the stocking. The cuff also gets the felt lining and then the cuff is the same fabric as the back of the stocking. You can use whatever trims if you want to add any trims. We are going to create our own fabric. So this is a, a back piece to iron our fabric onto. I chose a bunch of Christmas fabrics. You will need a fusible web to iron these fabrics onto. To create the fusible patchwork I cut a swatch off of each of the fabrics and they are almost the width of the fusible web and I'm just going to lay them down across the fusible web and this is wrong side to the web. Don't touch your iron to the web or you'll have a, an ironing mess. I'm just going down the line and iron each piece on that I have and then just going to cut uh, crazy patch patches out of all the fabrics. And now that this is all fused on, we're going to cut out our patchwork. So here's all my crazy iron-on patches. There's enough here to make several, several stockings. And I'm creating my own fabric and it doesn't take long. The next step is to iron this onto our uh, base fabric. This is a piece of scrap fabric and I've cut a rough size out. I want to make sure that I get over around all the edges. So we'll just start taking the fusible off over the iron, take the paper backing off, and start building our fabric. So I'm just laying these down in random order. I'm making sure that I overlap everything so that the edges are sealed. If you have trouble getting the paper backing off, just take a pen and run it across the paper. The patchwork is all laid down and since I didn't get some of them pressed down really good I had to stop and, and re-iron some of the patchwork to the uh, webbing. Sometimes I can't even walk and chew gum at the same time. So these are ready to press and create the patchwork. And I'm trying to make sure that I get a good seal on them this time. So here's the front of our stocking ready to be sewn together. So I'm starting with the cuff and put this right sides together. Sew the bottom edge together. Trim off that point so that it can be turned nicely. Then 
and starting at the front of the stocking, I'm going to sew all the way around the lining to the back and leave a nice uh, wide opening. And this gets sewn in the same way. We'll start at the front and st stitch all the way around to the back and leave a back opening. Trim it out a little bit. going to sew the um, seam at the back of the outside of the stocking and uh, catch the edges of the cuff in that back seam. There is the outside. We need to sew up the um, finish sewing the seam that we left open. The easiest way I found to um, get the lining down into the body of the stocking is to take a dowel or have this cardboard tube and work it down in. So the stocking is all lined. It has a cuff. You can embroider a name on it. All that needs to be added is um, a hanging tab. So check out all the other videos and tutorials that are available here at allfreeholidaycrafts.com. There are crafts for every holiday throughout the year and um, also uh, check out the uh, Facebook page and show us what you've made. And thank you for coming by and watching our videos.